Hey guys, we'll go back to Civilization 6 Rise and Fall as Robert the Bruce. An off-camera game where I was just playing my standard little mode here. Wanted to bring you guys in now because we have Genghis Khan coming after us. You may recall in the previous game we had formed an alliance. Well, not an alliance, but a friendship with Genghis Khan. But of course, at any time that can flip. As you can see here, he took Kabul. And what happened was Gilgamesh lost this city earlier due to uh, loyalty pressure and I had all my I had all these guys down here to take the city and I just uh, wasn't paying attention had the had the camera scrolled up here and he ended up taking the city and that's fine I want this city right here we're gonna take it but as you can see we're in a pickle up here because he's got this city up here surrounded but we're about to take care of that yeah if you heard that that's the sound of the weekend Cracking open a Coca-Cola Life. You probably thought that was going to be a beer, but no. It's a Coca-Cola Life. I don't know whether we're going to be able to save that builder or not. Actually, I should have moved him into the city in hindsight here. He's only got like a build left on him. I'm not overly worried. So let's go ahead and take care of these guys. The archer can't take the city, so we want to go ahead and take him out. Candy should be helping us. They are an ally of ours. So, um, right now, the biggest threat is going to be this horseman. So, we're going to go ahead and take him out. Or come close to it. I'm going to leave this catapult over here. And start moving these guys over here to uh, help out with our city. And we're going to need to move this... Uh, going to need to move our trader out of there. Because he's going to get captured. Or plundered at, at best. Um, so... I am just going to leave the catapult over here, so the cat it should be just fine by himself over here. And then um, I'm going to move the catapult over here. I'm going to be a little cautious with him, though. I think I'll bring the crossbowman over. What I was going to do was um, I was going to go after Gilgamesh and free up uh, Lisbon. He's also made another city up here, Larak. And what I would do is probably take Larak, probably just um, remove it altogether. Raise the city was the word I was looking for. Yep. Okay, so what did he do? Okay, he plundered a mine. This guy right here. See, now that I moved my catapult, he's got this guy over here who can plunder what my farm that'll be quite annoying but I will deal with it but right now we got to make sure that he doesn't take our city he shouldn't we have um, walls here which is um, why I have them there what I did was I had this uh, this builder clear some jungle that was on this hill and on this hill and right here to be able to speed up some of the builds and one of those was to get those walls done so I'm very happy that I had that done we're not going to pay attention to any of his cities over here. I'm going to move these strictly this way. Our city walls here should do fine, at which I just recently put city walls up in our main city, only because there was only like three. So what I might do is um, just move him back in, and we'll go after the horseman here, and we'll just bring you him over here. We have enough to um, take care of... Uh, take care of Genghis Khan. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this guy out of the way. Make sure he's safe. Oh, he's got like one build left on him. Yeah, he's only got one build left. I could have moved him here, but I didn't want to lose him. All right, so our next concern here is going to be this Shordsman. So let's go ahead and take care of him. I'm not really worried about the horse. Or the archer. Look at look at how they send uh, these generals just un unescorted. But that general will get bonus. So that can be an issue. Um, I think I'm going to go to Lisbon. Or Hong Kong. Hong Kong's too dangerous, obviously. It's right in the path of this horseman right here. Um, and I don't want to send anything to Cullen. Well, we could go to Cullen. Or actually, we could go to um, Uruk. Yeah, we can go to Uruk. That'll give us some gold. I would like to get some production and stuff. So let's go to... Uh, Sapar instead, because that's going to run through Uruk. And we'll do that. 
I hope you guys had a great Easter. Of course, it's uh, long after Easter now, but it was last weekend. As of this recording, you guys will probably get this recording sometime in about three or four days from hints. All right, so he wants to go after the um, chariot. Okay. It's kind of dumb, but he can do that. I say that as my guy took tons of damage. Oh, no, they're going after my little scout. What is that? A uh, Yeah, he's got a freaking galley going after my scout. Okay, well, hopefully we can get him out of there. I want to save my scout. Not critical, but I don't want to lose a unit if I don't have to, even if it is just a little a lowly, humble scout. But uh, we will need to take care of this horseman up here. That encampment should just about have damn done it. Major defeat. Okay, we'll uh, we'll post up and make that horseman earn it. Speaking of horsemen, here comes a nerd or one. But we can bomb him. There we go. Now, I'm starting to wonder whether or not I even need to move anybody to Roxboro because it looks like we're taking care of business over there, to be totally honest. I let him spin. And now we'll go for the swordsman and just about damn near kill him, if not kill him. Because, see, I don't know what Candy's doing. Candy needs to take care of this, <laughs> this archer right here. Um, that little quadrine can probably get to my scout. That's going to be a, a kind of a sad day uh, to lose the scout. But, uh, well, he did pillage this, so we're going to use the builder to fix that. We will liberate Cobble. Um, one of the bonuses we get as, I don't know why I clicked on Gilgamesh. One of the bonuses we get as Robert the Bruce is the Liberation bonus. See right here, can declare War of Liberation after gaining the Defense Tactics Civic, which we already have. And that's going to give us 100% production and 2 movement for the first 10 turns after declaring a war. Oh, I guess we have to actually declare a War of Liberation. We can't just simply liberate on its own. But um, we would certainly want to liberate uh, Lisbon, which is what I was wanted to do. And then uh, we will or could liberate Kabul. So we'll keep an eye on this guy right here. So I might actually just bring these guys back. All right, let's see. What city is this? Sterling. This is our capital. All right, so basically what I'm doing here in Sterling is I'm just getting everything ready for the bonuses for the science victory. A little early for it, of course. So let's go ahead and just grab a university in the interim. And I'll do the same thing here because we need seven pop to be able to make a new district. And, um, yeah, this horseman will pop this uh, catapult probably, but it shouldn't be too bad. He's running away, actually. Those horsemen don't like catapults. Catapults are pretty powerful. Very slow, but do a lot of damage. All right, so our city over here. Oh, now we got some. Now we got trouble. Yeah, now we got a catapult over there. So there goes our scout. Oh, man. Our little scout. He was such a great guy. Cleared all this area of the map off for us. This whole thing was done by just the scout. Well, he served his function quite well. But I still think that we're probably going to need those swordsmen from up top. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to leave the catapult there, Right? And then, let's see, the, this catapult is going to be a problem. That's our biggest danger right there, is that catapult. And these guys, I think we're going to go down here and take bad, what is that, bad Tabira? Yeah, we're just going to avoid the city altogether for now. And uh, we're going to move down this way. I like the fact that we have a road. Let's just go ahead and move you down here too. And um, I think I might move those swordsmen. And leave the catapult and the um, chariot there. Let's get these guys on the road here. Alright. Literally on the road. Because it's much faster. So I'm going to bring those guys down. We're going to hover this guy over here. Because we're going to want this to get repaired. Wait a minute. What is that? That's that's my commercial hub. He can't repair that actually. Only an improvement. We got a... Um, 
Schwarzman coming in. I hope he stays away from our districts. We'll have to keep an eye on him. All right, you want to come after my swordsman? Okay, put a hurt on him a little bit. Yeah, those catapults are brutal. Look at that. That's some serious damage. So in hindsight, in hindsight, I may have to bring this guy back down. Just in case, just in case. Gonna be a little gonna be a little dodgy. My cities are kind of spread out, <clears throat> and I've been keeping a minimum unit. Because the idea was to go after Gilgamesh. But now we know that despite being friends with our good buddy Genghis Khan, he is not a very good friend at all. He is not he is not a nice friend to have, apparently. He can't be trusted. Cannot be trusted. We're going to take out this horseman and I'm going to move the uh, crossbowman that way over here to uh, our city. We're going to let him heal. I'm not in any big hurry for that city down there. Go ahead and move you here. This should do it. We'll let the encampment take him out. There we go. I'm not worried about the swordsman. The only thing, the only concern I have with this swordsman is the fact that he can capture the city. I'm not worried right now because the catapult and the archer cannot take the city. So, all right. So, but we well, obviously we're still going to try to take out the catapult. <laughs> I'm not going to just let him sit there. But um, yeah, the catapult and the archer cannot take the city. Swordsman can't. So that is a concern. But we should be able to take out uh, the catapult the next in the next turn. That archer by himself is not going to be able to do very much to our city. So. Someone got a promotion. All right, so our guy inside. I won't promote him until that catapult's gone. See, he's not even doing much with that um, swordsman. Looks like he's going to... Uh, we're going to use our little builder's bait. What? Wait a minute. What? Did, is that a candy unit? I was about to say. Why is candy coming after us? As a matter of fact, what are you doing, candy? Oh, oh, they're not an Oh, they're not an ally. See, I wanted um, Hong Kong to be an ally to give us some protection up here, which they're doing a very good job of. And I just kind of ignored Candy altogether. And I started going for Jerusalem because I want them to help us out with Gilgamesh. All right, now, so we have um, Niter. And I don't see any on the map. And the CQUI is still not ready for Civ 6. There's Niter here. There's Niter here. Oh, boy. I don't see any. There's Niter right here. Oh, my gosh. That is annoying. Okay. Well, we will live with it for now. All right. So, we do have a problem, guys. Because this candy swordsman right here. Now, uh, city state can't take your city, but what they can do is uh, raise it, and that would be terrible to lose Roxboro um, to the swordsman. But um, as of now, they're fairly contained. I'm not going to go after this horseman. I want him to come to us, but I do want to get these guys over here as quickly as I can, and maybe go after Cobble. Cobble doesn't have any walls. We're going to go ahead and take a shot here at this horseman, although I should have just moved to this uh, tile here. Um, let me move him here, move you into the city, and move you down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep an eye on Roxborough. We're going to move our builder here. As a matter of fact, let me move him up here. Maybe he'll um, bait the swordsman up that way, and then we can take the uh, crossbowman and take out the swordsman. Those swordsmen are no joke, though, even if that um, crossbowman is upgraded. All right, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade, or we can't now on this next turn. We will um, promote, right? Remember, it's the word promote is the word we want. All right. The general... 
I wonder if Candy's getting any bonuses from that general. I doubt it. Usually it's only the actual city or the actual unit itself. And you are just going to fortify. And we're going to pound on you with the catapult. Kaboom. Uh, in our city over here next to the ocean, our seaside city, I'm going to go ahead and make some boats so that we can uh, explore the rest of the map. I have not uh, gotten to ocean tiles yet. We don't have cartography yet. We will soon. All right, so let's see. Uh, so we're good here. We've, we've made all of our moves. So next turn... I don't know, that Swordsman and Candy might do a little bit of damage to uh, the city. I'm going to have to get the Catapult out of there. Yeah, that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. I'm not worried about the Archer, but we are going to take out the Swordsman. Let's see, if we had a Catapult in here, probably would have... Um, run them off. And if, he, if he wants to run, ah, he's... Uh, I'm totally good with that. Now, you can come into the city and stay there and let's promote you. Nice. And let's see. He's the weaker unit. So we'll go for him. Yeah, and Genghis is not about to give up anytime soon. I'm not, I'm not sure how well you guys can hear the game. I've got it like turned down super, super low. Because it can get incredibly loud. So moving these guys this way is really not going to harm us in any way as far as the war. Because we're going to go after Cobble. We're going to liberate Cobble. Alright, so we're going to go for the Swordsman. And if he's wounded enough, he will just run all the way back to the city. So if we can get him down low enough. I don't want to get too crazy with this guy around the Swordsman. But uh, we'll go ahead and take a pop at him. Get him down, and we'll just move this guy completely out of the way. And let's see. Just keep everybody here fortified and healing. Maybe move right to here. Alright. Let's see. We've moved everybody that we can move and taken our shot, so next turn. Okay, he's going after the uh, crossbowman, which isn't a surprise. Going to put a little bit of damage on the crossbowman. we got a horseman coming in, too, towards that crossbowman. That's going to be an issue. I have to say, they've definitely cranked up the, um, the game with the newest expansion, even though our last game went relatively kind of flawless. It had some tight spots, but this game has really been much tighter as far as stuff that's going on. So we're going to go ahead and take out the um, horseman here. Alright. And then we're going to have him come back into our territory to heal up faster. He's going to be promoted. Alright, and we'll just move the swordsman right here. He can actually attack, but I don't want him in city bombardment, so we're going to put him right there. You are getting the heck out of there. So are you. Okay, let's put you over here. And you're going as far back as possible, and... Well, shoot. I just realized it doesn't matter. He's going to get popped by the horseman. The swordman? Probably both. So my options are... Shoot and not heal a turn, or heal a turn in friendly territory. Alright, good, so that swordsman for candy just left. And I'm okay with that. We're still coming this way. Really not anything these guys can do to help our guy up there, so he's gonna be on, <laughs> he's gonna be on his own. But uh, we'll get it sorted out here in a minute. Yeah, I don't want to go after this horseman if I don't have to. So we're going to leave him there. As a matter of fact, let me... Well, I was going to drop those guys back one if they could be moved, but they can't, so I'm not worried about it. 
Uh, you're going to just spin here. All right, let's take a look and see what's going to happen to our crossbowman right now. Because he can reach the crossbowman, and the horseman can most certainly reach the crossbowman. And I don't think the crossbowman can survive it. Well, they're putting a workout on our um, chariot down there. I don't think he. I don't think he can't survive the horseman. I don't think. The game's thinking. Should we let the crossbowman die or not? That's what it's thinking. Okay, the crossbowman did not survive. It didn't think he would. That guy was actually a replacement for that other archer we lost when Gilgamesh came after us. Now, this is going to be a, a considerable problem here. Um, having this horseman and swordsman here. Okay, the world enters the Renaissance era, and it looks like we are in a dark age. And I'll take a look at that dark age here in a moment. Plus six defense strength, plus five city range strength. We might want to use Bastion. For now. And that should be about it. That I can see. Yeah, we're in a dark age, it would appear. Uh, yep, we're in a dark age. That's the second dark age I've been in. Uh, if you guys were wondering why the other screen was all gray like this, like a contrasted gray, it's when you go into a dark era, you, um, you get contrasted. All right, so you are going to need to get the heck out of there. And we're going to need to get some city walls going up here. So that's five turns. So we'll do some city wall action going on. And I'm probably going to have to send a cart. But then we don't know what Gilgamesh is doing right there either. All right, so what do we got here? Let's go ahead and take our shot. That should take out that archer. Yeah, it did. And you're going to heal. And you're going to heal. And you are going to... Yeah, you're going to fortify and heal as well. He will probably get hit by both those guys again. So we're going to head over this way. Yeah, not really overly concerned with that city at the moment. Although I should be, right? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Monumentality... Not doing any districts, religion, you score time, you discover a new continent. No. Might have to go here. Gain one error score for each time you successfully complete a trade route. It's really the only one that I, that's of any use. Um, we are kind of sort of working on banking. Okay. I might move him up there. And I'm half tempted to bring him there and make a, uh, and then chop the rainforest to immediately get that, to get the walls. I think that'd be a good idea. All right. So meanwhile, I want to work towards exploration to change governments, but we are going to need medieval fairs and we're going to get a speckle person. So let's see who that's going to be. I think I'm going to keep everything as is. We're at 13 gold. Let's see who we got. All right. We got a writer. Let's see. Can I even see the... Nope. Because I don't have any... Uh, I don't even think I have a museum or, or anything. Um, we'll go ahead and take him. I'm sure I can put him somewhere. Yeah, right here in the capital. Flowers surround me alone. Okay. And, yeah, that's going to go into our palace, actually. Now we can look at... um. Great works. All right, so we have amphitheater for writers. We have one more charge. Let's see where can I send him. We send him to Swill. Use him again here in Sterling. So we'll do that. So go here when you're able. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, next turn. Let's go ahead and clear out some of these um notifications. You get a promotion. We need to get you promoted. Why are you not promoted? Because you're in the city? Well, what's all this? 
Oh, those are all the defeated. Yeah, when he took Cobble and uh, so forth. All right, all right so uh, next turn, we should be able to take Cobble fairly easily. I'm actually going to liberate Cobble. I don't want Cobble. I'd rather have this city right here. This is going to be a phenomenal city. Although we might want to buy some water tiles before um, Genghis Khan gets it. All right, let's next turn it. See what happens. I kind of have a bad feeling about this up here. Did they kill that chariot? They sure did. I got a bad feeling about that up there, guys. All right, let's pop you right here. Give you the promotion. Let's pop you. Yeah, he came down here, which is really nice. I mean, a huge relief. These guys are going to go towards Cobble. He's already fired, and you're going to come. Yeah, we're going to keep we're going to keep an eye on that guy right there. He's gone as far as he can. Have you come here, and we're going to have you clear that jungle to complete those walls ASAP. And you can repair. We can't fix. We can't fix our walls yet. All right, so let's go ahead and repair the commercial hub. Envoy, uh, let's see if we can't flip. We need to flip, like, candy or something, don't we? I can send one to candy. I don't know if we can flip. I saved a couple of them. Now, somebody has six, so a little bit of a waste of our time. All right. Swordsman, you should be able to take care of these horsemen. I'm not overly concerned with losing that chariot at all. I don't normally make chariots. I don't really care much for chariots. Um, because they, you know, they make lancers and then tanks, which are kind of nice, but I don't typically make them. I made them, um, in the earlier game because of Gilgamesh, almost exclusively because he attacked us. That's the primary reason. And now we'll get rid of this horseman. He's going to be probably close to wanting to surrender. I can't believe that Gilgamesh has not tried to attack us. If Gilgamesh attacks us, that's going to be super ugly up here. Super ugly. Although, um, the chariot can hold up fairly well against the war cart. We have, we have city walls here, and I will buy a unit if necessary. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't know what that guy's doing. Alright. Let's go ahead and do our next turn. Going after the catapult. Can't blame him for that. But that was a bad move on his part. Well, they went for the city. <laughs> okay. All right, the encampment. I should have looked at that and paid attention to that. Should have noticed that. Unless he just came up. He wants to make peace. I'm not ready to do that. I'm not ready to do that. See, I'm really surprised that he's even asking. Considering that he's kind of... Yeah, he doesn't have the upper hand. Oh, so there. Okay, so Harold's Harold. Harold Bluetooth. Wonder where his capital is. All right, so swordsman, you're gonna go here, and we're gonna pull the um, catapult inside the city. Well, we're not gonna be able to. That's okay. We're gonna go here, right? We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this, and you're gonna come over here. And if you can attack that guy, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, um, let's go ahead and do our rider. There we go. And you're going to clear that jungle so we can complete the walls. That'll keep give us some protection in case Gilgamesh decides he wants to do something stupid. Alright, so... I should have attacked the horseman enough for him not to want to go for the catapult. But that may not stop him. Matter of fact, let's do this and this. That gets us out of the way of Cobble and gets us out of the way of that encampment. Now he's not going to go after the catapult. Or he shouldn't. I say with some levels of trepidation. You are just going to heal right here. You are going to do the same thing. Or we can upgrade you to 180? That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, change him to a knight. And let's see here. 
All right, let's choose our next civic. I think I will get castles or, or get castles for the culture, if nothing else. You can now repair the industrial zone. All right, let's see what this horseman's going to do. If he goes after my catapult, I might have to rage quit. <laughs> he is going after the catapult, and he will probably destroy the catapult. And he did destroy the catapult. Now that I'm not very happy about. In the least. <clears throat> All right, so now that we have our knight, he can move fairly quickly across the map and I might have to make I might have to move him up here towards the top because I don't know what crazy Gilgamesh is thinking about. So let's um head him over here to Cobble because we are going to take Cobble and I, I we will take this city. Look at here, we got a scout. What is that foolish craziness sending a scout over there? All right, now we're going to get our revenge. What a shame. I got a little too bold with our little catapult, and now he paid the price. Poor guy. We're going to move you here, let you heal. And move you in and take out the stupid horseman. There we go. Our revenge is complete. All right. I don't know how he's going to pair it with this guy. I think we're going to move our guy out of the way. It's not going to make a difference. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, he gets a promotion. So that settles that. And let's see, we're good to go here. Uh, let's go ahead and make another trade route. As opposed to a unit. We don't need any units. I'm not worried about replacing the crossbowman. At least not right now. I'm not worried about replacing him. I uh, would like to get a trade route. And I want to get a harbor going up here just because I want to get some boats going at some point. So we're going to make your harbor right there for the plus one gold bonus. Okay, next turn. Yeah, that swordman would have been a very close call had he not had the upgrade. He probably, yeah, he, he probably would have survived it. But it would have been close. And we were... <laughs> the scout's going after the uh, swordsman. That's pretty funny. And, um... Eh, just leave him here. We'll finish off the scout with the uh, city bombardment. It's a shame, like, the city can't get experience and stuff from uh, attacking people. You're going to... Let's see. What are we going to have you do? We're going to just have you come um, over here. And you are going to come here, and we're going to go after Cobble. I was hoping we could get to Cobble in this gameplay. And I'm just going to move him here. Let these guys heal up a little bit before we go into the Cobble region. Anyway, guys, I wanted to bring you in, bring you in during that little battle. We'll go ahead and end it here. I'll bring you guys in when we uh, when I start getting closer to these cities and go after them. So um, I will put the ubiquitous channel icon here for you guys to click on and subscribe. I appreciate your guys' participation, likes, shares, and comments. I hope you guys are enjoying this off-camera game. These are the ones that I kind of play just on my own. And I will see you guys in the next video.